Have you ever heard of Gary Foley, the veteran indigenous rights activist who had a warning for the proposed indigenous voice to parliament? He believes it will face the same fate as its predecessors and be ignored by governments. Welcome to our YouTube video, where we'll be discussing his thoughts on the proposal. At a Wednesday evening event in Melbourne, Foley made it clear that the voice to parliament would make no difference to the lives of First Nations people. He used the example of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Commission, or ATSIC, which was operational from 1990 to 2005 but abolished by the Howard government after allegations of corruption and mismanagement. Foley believes that although it would be enshrined in the Constitution, it doesn't mean it will accomplish its goal or be taken seriously. He said that government action is only palatable to whoever is in power, so the voice won't suddenly lead to change. In fact, he won't be voting in the referendum himself. Foley called for Australians to face up to the truth of their own history, claiming that the problem lies in Anglo-Australian racism which has to be overcome in order to bring a resolution. He is inspired by Victoria's nation-leading Indigenous Truth-Telling Commission which can help the public confront systemic racism. But it's not as rosy as it seems. Foley said he does not anticipate the referendum will be successful due to Australia's deepening polarization and the lack of bipartisan support from the federal opposition. He warned that the government and media can easily sway the public opinion into thinking their point of view is the only one, and the referendum could be voted against. The proposed amendment to enshrine the voice in the Constitution has sparked fierce debate within Indigenous communities. Supporters of The Voice accused organizers of Invasion Day, anti-Australia rallies on January 26th of hijacking the events to call for a no vote in the referendum, but the opposition have fundamentally dismissed the suggestion that entrenching the voice to parliament in the constitution would impact indigenous sovereignty. Finally, before this video ends, we'd like to talk about the 1967 referendum. Australians voted overwhelmingly to recognize indigenous people in the census and allow the Commonwealth to make laws for them, but nothing changed. This led to the birth of the Black Power movement where Foley was a key member. To sum it all up, Foley believes that the proposed indigenous voice to parliament will face the same fate as its predecessors and be ignored by governments. He questions whether entrenching this voice into the constitution can bring about real change. We hope this video has served to educate and provide insight into this contentious issue. Thank you for watching.